crafters <clears throat> thank you for joining me today I'm gonna be showing you the card that I created for craft roulette episode number 223 and one of the products that I'm using is this paper pack which is retired from Stampin up and it's called um, candy cane lane designer series paper and the reason why I chose this one was because of the element house or houses. That's one of the reasons, because I remembered that it had these cute little houses, uh, gingerbread houses. So that was one of the reasons. And secondly, you know, it's always fun to do Christmas in July. And since we're in July, that's why I decided to go with this paper. I had another idea, but I decided I would go with the Christmas in July. Okay, so let's go ahead and bring in my card and we'll go through each of the parameters. So here's my card and the project had to be smaller and smaller slash larger. So the way I did that on my card is I have a larger gingerbread house on the outside and then on the inside I have a smaller one and I had to fussy cut these out from that designer paper and then the colors had to be planets so here is the um, color palette that I found for planets and I'm, you can easily find brown and reds and you know this is a lighter brown the crumb cake here so I think I've got my colors covered as far as the planets go then the element had to be house or houses and I have two houses a large one and a smaller one and then the random had to be a white border well I decided to do my white border with that scallop circle there. So what I ended up doing was pulling in this here, which is the layering circles framelits, but and that's where I got my scallop, but I wanted the one that I cut out with the designer paper to have a stitching on it. So I pulled that one from the stylish shapes and use that to cut a piece of that designer paper. Now, as far as the white border's concerned, I also tore th this designer paper, so I have a piece, a full piece of designer paper here on the back of a different design, but then I did this one on top and I tore it, and when you tear it, you also get that white border. So I think I have my white border taken care of as well. And the stamp set that I'm using for my snowflakes up here, my sentiments on the outside and on the inside come from this Christmas Pines stamp set. And it's a bundle because it has some of the dies in there. So I decided to use that on my card today. And then as far as the ink colors go, I'm just doing real red and crumb cake. And I ended up, everything is adhered down flat except for the gingerbread house, which I popped up. And then I put some more of that designer paper that I, some of it that I have on the front circle there and on the inside with that smaller gingerbread house. And I love the sentiment, Christmas blessings, May the simple joys of the season be yours. Wouldn't that be a fun card to send to somebody? Okay, well, I think that's it. I covered it all. Got all my parameters met. And this is for episode 223. And I like the way it turned out. And so I hope you enjoyed this card in this video. And if you did... You know what you can do. You can show me your joy by giving it a thumbs up. Okay, well, until my next video, remember, choose joy 
and may God bless you all. Bye-bye.